Hello everyone, this is Teresa Benson, Product Marketing Manager here at Redline Controls, and today I'm going to show you how Redline devices can act as both an OPC UA client as well as an OPC UA server. So here is our CR3000. It's already set up as an OPC UA client to get information from a data station on our network. I'm also going to turn it into an OPC UA server. So I'll add that as my new title. And what I'm going to do is just demonstrate how we could take a simple data tag and share it with another client in the system. So I'm going to call this data entry and let's drag that onto our page. This is going to be the value that I put in the OPC UA server uh, data for my CR3000. I need to make it data entry so that I can do that on the screen. So I'm going to do that here. And now let's just quickly set this up as an OPC UA server. So I'm in the communications. We can see it's already set up as a client. I'm going to come down to OPC UA server. How simple is it? It's this simple. I'll just choose yes. And I don't need to change any of the defaults here. I'm going to drag over this data tag, the data entry data tag, as the thing I want to serve up to something else in my system. I'll go ahead and send this new database down. And if we look, we will see that uh, the screen has been updated to include our data entry tag. And I can put in 99, I could put in, you know, whatever value. And so that's this side of things. Now my data station, which has been the OPC UA server for this as acting as a client, and that's where all of this information is coming from. I want to set that up as a client. So I'm going to come over here, go to network protocol. I'm going to choose my OPC UA client. I just typed OP to get there very quickly. I'm going to make a note that this is a CR3007 in my system. And I need to tell my data station the IP address of my OPC UA server, which in this case is my CR3000. I hit enter. Super easy. I'm just going to click once and it's going to download the data model. In this case, it's the CR3000 uh, data model. And we'll see that browse file populate here. 17 nodes were discovered. I'll click OK. I need to create a data tag for that item so that I can display it on my DA30D's uh, page. So I'm going to call this you know, from CR3000. Then I need to go to source and choose the CR3000. It shows me the available nodes. I'm going to go into V1 and tags and there's my data entry value. And now I need to stick it somewhere on my page. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it at the top of this clean tab because that's the tab uh, that pops up when we very first see our user interface for the DA30D. So I'm just going to put it in here so that we can see the information being shared. I'll send this to my DA30D. That'll take a moment. And now I'll drag this over. I'll put this up. We can see from the CR3000, 99. If I change this to 942, we see that change over here. Even as at the same time, we see this current status is wash one run. And we can see that the CR3000 is receiving that information. So they are both acting as OPC UA clients and servers to each other and exchanging information effortlessly. Look for more tips and tricks here on Redline's YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.